I'm gonna buy this. Let me see. I gave it to Olivia. I wanna buy that too, Olivia. <laughs> Maybe you can buy one for me and one for you. I gave it to <laughs> Olivia. What are those? Sharp teeth. Sharp teeth that are taped to his face. He's making Boston some, and Olivia made a homegrown, homemade mustache. Looks pretty good. Looks like Tom Selleck. It's right. It looks like it's, oh, there we go, just a little bit. It looks like it's snowing glitter. You can see the like frost on the driveway. Alright, Carl, did you get your first boot in? Yeah. That's right. And dad is gonna try skiing this time. Yeah. And I had to get some boots. And I don't know where Olivia's at. She's around here somewhere. She's probably giving ski lessons to somebody somewhere. That's Olivia's game. She she knows how to do this system now because we've been here before and now she's just gonna teach everybody else. That's that's what she does. Pe people may not know this, but in November I really, really pulled some ligaments over Thanksgiving break. I was playing with all my brother-in-laws and we were definitely doing things we shouldn't have done on the monkey bars and I landed in it. I thought I just sprained it, but it ended up like pulled ligaments and it actually fractured a little bit of bone off the back and the doctor's like, we'll just see what it does. But he put me on a brace and I put it on in the boot and it was excruciating. So I figure the boot is probably strong enough and sturdy enough to just be my brace for the day. Bonnie's probably gonna cringe at this and not happy about it, but it was too painful with the brace on. The brace just made it hurt really, really bad. So we're gonna try it without and see what happens. Everybody made it. Everybody made it. Even this guy. Even I made it. I haven't skied in years and I'm really happy to start doing this again. Daddy, do the spot. Yeah, I like <laughs> it's kind of fun here. They have like, you know, the bunny hills just right here in front of the lodge, and there's big speakers, so there's always some kind of good tunes jamming. Everybody else here is learning. Today was a perfect day to come, Olivia. Olivia, would you rather be here or at school? Oh, that was not a bad first run at all. You feel like you got it? Yeah. You got to remember it? Yeah, okay. I remember it already. Okay, Olivia is, like usual, all the way up there, ahead of the pack. I don't know if you can even see her at all. Flailing her arms. I think she may have just stopped the tram, though. She might have biffed it or had a hard time getting off. But she's already getting ahead of us. She's, she's doing good on turning and on snow plowing and getting on and off the lift. I think we're doing good. This time, just leave me alone. Woo-woo! Let's see it. Good job, Dolly. I'm so happy that we're up here enjoying the recreation with the kids. And your hands feel sticky? Yeah. What's even better? I got here. I went to buy the passes, and those two are free just because of the day. I love it. Jumping on the bed, one fell off. 
el bol es al... We did so much skiing. We're gonna be, take a break and eat something. And then we got a blue drink. A blue drink. What do you want to eat, bud? Um, cheese. Wait. Chili cheese, cheese fries. fries. You like those? Okay, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering when is Joel gonna do story time? Well, class, we're gonna do it right now, huh? Yay. Okay. When I was in high school, I was the president of the Ski and Snowboard Club for Roy High, which means Jack Diddley squat. But it meant I got a season pass, and all my friends, we got season passes for like $100, which are normally like 1000 at Park City Resort. Anyway, I remember every Saturday, me and my buddies would pile into whoever's car their parents would let them take for the weekend. And then when we'd get home, we would always go to Lots of Pizza Pie Cafe and eat pizza there. And Bonnie was always working there. And I remember leaving her a pretty good tip one time. Something just dawned on me as I'm sitting here doing the dishes. I put Lincoln up on the cabinet. And of course, it reminded me of all the comments that I get of, oh, I can't believe you let your kids be on the counter. That's so dangerous. That's so unsanitary, blah, blah, blah. So I, I'm sitting here. I put him on the counter, oh, like I normally do. And then it dawned on me why I do that. So growing up, I remember getting in trouble for getting on the cabinets. And generally, I do things just almost the same as I, as my parents did growing up. I like the way they raised us. It has proven to be a good way of doing things. There's not one right way to do things. But anyway, my point is that is why I do it. So I do it because it keeps the kids in one spot. Like Lincoln would never crawl off this counter. Of course I wouldn't do it any younger, but like he knows he's not going anywhere. And I stay right by him. I know he's not gonna go off the edge of the counter. Um, because I don't want my baby going off the edge of the counter. Okay, Boston, no, no, honey. No, 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 no. Um, anyway, it helps keep the kids confined. Like he just stays right there on the cabinet. I cleaned everything off so he wouldn't throw anything off. And he just sits on the counter next to me. And I love it. He's eye level with me. He's right here by me. Um, anyway, yeah. So I would be interested to know what, it, who knows? Maybe my dad's a secret commenter and <laughs> saying how much doesn't like it. I know that my dad will comment on these videos. So dad, what are your thoughts on my kids being on the counter? I'm just kidding. If you don't want to uh, comment that, you don't have to. But if you have something to say, go ahead and uh, leave it down below. <laughs> Did I make you in my tummy? Yes, I did make you in my tummy. I did make Lincoln in my tummy. Isn't that special? Grandpa grew in his grandma's tummy. Oh, <laughs> Daddy grew in his mom's tummy. Grandma Pauline. Look at his butt. Look at him lay here. <laughs> Look at him lay here. <laughs> Are you helping me, huh? I'm doing the dishes. Are you going to help me with the dishes? I am. Hmm. You smell like a dirty diaper. Let me check your diaper. No dirty diapers. Should we go? Can you say goodbye to 
everybody. Should I get the tree? Not yet. We gotta wait till Lincoln goes down for a nap. Can you say bye? Say bye. Well, I am pleased as punch. The kids have been doing laps all day. They are having fun and they're doing good enough that I can even just leave them on the bunny hill and play and ski with each other that I can come up and do some of the real hills. And I'm pretty excited. I'm a little nervous. I'm not usually a skier, but I think I'm doing pretty well. But look at this. I mean, just take this in. Like, this is, this is my recreation right now. This is my day. This is amazing. I can't beat it. There's a huge jump down there. Oh, this guy's gonna hit it. Whoa, we caught it. The lady on the lift's like, um, how do you like skiing without poles? I'm like, well, when you're a skier of my caliber, you don't need poles. You can bip it all on your own without it. Whoa. Okay, well. That was close. That was close. I hope you guys appreciate this ride I'm taking you on because you're making it very difficult for me to balance. So my shadow looks like I'm killing it. Look at that. Holy cow, Johnny Mosley. Move it over. I'm sure there's no possible way you guys can see any of this. But down by that little tree where the tram is, that little boy, that's Cody Clark. And Olivia is down all the way at the lift, clear down there. I cannot believe it. These kids are doing so good. Okay, I'll turn it on right there. Turn it on. And I'll turn it to normal. Start. And then it'll go. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. All of our chores are done for the day. I think Joel and them will be home in a couple of hours. We just barely put Lincoln down for his nap. And so we are gonna have quiet time. But guess what just happened to us? We went all the way to the store with the kids, got him a little treat, a and I tree. forgot my wallet. So we had to load up in the car, come home, get my wallet, go back, unload, pay for our groceries, load back in the load back up in the car and then come back home, unload and put Lincoln down for a nap. Ugh, okay, I am ready for quiet time myself. So we're going to end our part of the vlog here. We'll leave you guys with a little picture of Lincoln sleeping in his crib. Oh. You stand up? <laughs> oh. Hey! Holy cow coat! Holy, holy, holy cow coat! <laughs> Cody Clark! That was amazing, bud. I couldn't be more proud. I'm the proudest dad alive, I'm pretty sure, right now. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Flip off. Okay, it's gonna be slick. Look, 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 look. Go, 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 go! Okay. No joke. I just looked in my bag and I am missing an item that I bought. Oh. <clears throat> what was your favorite part? Um, um, box. The box rail? I think so too. What was your favorite part, Dolly? Taking Dolly's? my shoes off. Taking your shoes off, that always feels good at the end of the day, huh? <laughs> we are done skiing for the day, guys. We are gonna go home and relax with Bonnie and Lincoln and Boston and have a good night with them, huh? You guys say bye to everybody? 